837, and right now I have a guest. I uh, teased it a little bit before. It's Jen from the Paseo Club. Good morning. Jen, hi. How are you doing? All good. How are you? Oh, give me a second. I, I have given the wrong gain to the microphone here. Uh -oh. Okay, there you go. Good morning. Good morning, Jen. <laughs> how you doing? Now, all good. Now, Perfect, all now. good. Awesome. How How is the club now that we're getting? We are literally one week out for, from Christmas. Like Crazy, literally, right? this time next week, we're going to be at home with our families, hopefully with our families, hopefully. celebrating Christmas. How is the club doing though? Club's great. Club is busy. Definitely flying through December this year. It is going faster than anyone has time to deal with, but a lot to do. Plenty of holiday parties. We were able to have Dink for Cause this past Saturday and finish up the tournament, which is awesome. And so we're having a lot of fun. Okay. So I, I said it just a few minutes ago, weather. Weather has been crazy right now. And it looks like we're getting a week full of just like rain nonsense like a week of nonsense is it this isn't going to put a damper on any holiday stuff over at the club right definitely no damper on the holiday stuff but it may throw a little bit of a wrench in your tennis and pickleball plans oh man yeah okay but at least the bar is open the bar is always open and we got uh mike chef mike mm -hmm. over there cooking up something amazing uh, last time he was here, he brought us, uh, I think it was the, the deep fried deep cookie fried dough. cookie dough and the powdered sugar on the pizza dough. Yeah. So we had some has, tasty things. Has he mixed up anything? Does he have any plans for the new years coming up? New year plans are definitely to get everyone on their resolution track. So some uh, good salads and clean eating and maybe getting a little bit away from some of the deep fried stuff. We're still doing pizza Mondays cause pizza Monday is really Turned yeah. into a great meal every Monday night. It's a good thing. But definitely getting into some, you know, some helpful options for uh, those resolutions. It was bound to happen. That's that's how you <laughs> lured me in. You spoiled me. Right? And now it's like, all right, let, let's eat correctly here. Let's let's ca the cookie get dough teaser and then <laughs> throw in the salad. All right. So, Jen, I'm kind of interested in knowing how how does one try to break that habit? Because right now we're in this uh, holiday after holiday after holiday where it's OK, here's candy. Here's mm -hmm. a humongous feast. And we're probably going to end this year with not just one with Christmas, but then New Year's is another one as well. How, how can we start building this mindset of like, OK, I need to start getting a little bit more active? Well, so the thing that we do is. Why wait? Just because it's party, 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 cocktail, 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 cookie, cookie, cookie right now this time of year doesn't mean that you can't get off the couch and get a workout in or start taking some pickleball lessons or just do things where you're outside and active and having a good time. If you're telling yourself, just wait, just wait, just wait, you're going to make it harder. You know, if you get in that mindset now, yes, you know what? There is plenty of debauchery bound to happen between now and the end of the year, but I can still get a couple of good workouts in, or I can still get outside and play some tennis with some friends. It's going to be a lot easier come January one when it's, Oh man. Okay. I got to set myself straight. Yeah. Yeah. And I almost think of it almost like a little bit of a, re a reward where mm -hmm. it's like, okay, maybe, maybe I will have this entire box of cookies. Okay. Maybe <laughs> not the entire box, but we, we, maybe I'll have a cookie, but it's because I was able to go on, you know, like a, a walk around my neighborhood. Mm -hmm. I go to the Paseo club. I do uh, one of the classes that you guys have there. And, uh, and then I've earned this. Yeah. It feels a little nicer, right? We have a wonderful walking group. We meet a couple times a week and we'll just go out on the Paseos and enjoy, you know, enjoy the weather, even when it's not great. You're out there with friends. It's social. You're getting your heart rate up a little bit. I mean, these are great things. And especially if you've got to combat, you know, all the treats that are put before you this time of year, it feels kind of nice. And, you know, I like that support, that kind of camarader camaraderie that mm -hmm. comes out of it where, um, you know, it's like, especially if you're in that group and you're walking, you're talking and all of a sudden you've done like three miles and you, you don't even, you didn't yeah. even feel it. It wasn't a chore. You know, you were catching up with friends and that sense of community. Yeah. So the Paseo Club offers a whole bunch of things, group exercise classes. I see 60 different types of classes. That's a lot of classes. It's a lot. Give, give me a sample. What, what are some of the classes that I mean, really take? runs the gamut from restorative yoga, which this time of year, you know, holidays can be a little stressful for some people. 
restorative yoga is beautiful. You relax, you turn your mind off for a minute. It's, it's something I think we all need and a lot of us maybe don't make the time for often enough, but all the way into a cardio core extreme where you're jumping around for 45 minutes trying to spike your heart rate. Yeah. So that, that's, I feel like that's where I'm at. I like the cardio. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I'm not too big on the, the weights. I feel okay. like I need to, I need to find a way to get into it, but I like the cardio stuff. Cardio is a blast. Yeah. But then, you know, strength and tone, the same thing. If you're in a room with 10, 12, 15 other people, maybe it's not quite as, you know, distressing as being alone with a set of weights. And what do I do? You know, you're being guided through, you're being shown, you know, little tips, little hints to keep yourself on track and it helps. Yeah. So what does the Paseo Club have coming up for uh, New Year's? Because I feel like we've we've gotten Christmas. Christmas is next week already. We got to look towards New Year's. What What's coming for right? New Year's? Christmas is basically already here. But New Year's, we're really getting into our what we're calling our season of resolution. So New Year's Day kicks off our 100 days. We're tracking workouts for everybody for 100 days, members and non-members invited to participate. We're going to have some fun events at the club to help keep you on track. And the same idea, you know, it's not about, okay, starting January 1st to the 5th, go crazy and then hurt yourself and then fall off the wagon and, you know, start the whole process over in another month or something. It's taking your time, engaging with other people, finding that sense of community and tracking workouts from now until June. You hit your 100 workouts. We've got a sweatshirt for you. We talked about it being earned, not given. Wait, you know. we get sweatshirts? Yeah, you get swag. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so not only do you uh, get that amazing summer bod for mm -hmm. next year. Exactly. But you get, uh, you get something out of it. Yes. That's incredible. I love that. Um, it makes it fun. <laughs> it does make it really, <laughs> really fun. Um, uh, it, how, how, can we, how can we actually... Uh, Check out the Paseo Club. So everything is on our website, thepaseoclub.com. Everything you need to find is there. And as we've said, you know, plenty of times being here, you can see great pictures. You can see our social media. You know, we're always posting. We're doing funny videos and, you know, alerting everybody to all the fun things that are going on. But the best thing to do is just come by. You know, all of us are there. We're there every day. The only day that we're not open is Christmas Day. But swing by, you know, take a tour, take a look around, really just see what it's like, see what the people are like, what the feelings are like, and and see why you want it to be part of your life. Yeah, and it is absolutely, I know it can be kind of intimidating to try to come into this big space and, you know, there's the workouts and there are people that are, ex you, you have that mindset of like, oh, these guys, they've been doing this over and over. How can I even fit in? Mm -hmm. Nicest people, nicest facilities, you're going to fit in. In no time. Yes. Absolutely And, and no we're time. there to hold your hand. We're there to not make it overwhelming from the beginning. You know, we'll help you navigate the group exercise schedule so it doesn't just look like, oh, my goodness, there are so many classes. How would I ever pick? You know, we're there to help you with a starter pickleball class so it's not overwhelming. I just have to find my way. You know, we're, we're here to help and really provide that sense of belonging. Yeah. So, Jen... Thank you so much for coming by one more time. The Paseo Club dot com. Uh, check it out. There's going to be a whole bunch of information. You can see all the kinds of classes they have. Uh, you can see the social events. They have a bar. So, you know, go work out, grab a, a drink to relax and then, you know, just hang out with your friends because it is a whole community over there at the Paseo Club. Jen. Have a have a happy holiday. You too. <laughs>